In this video, we're going to look briefly at how we take grouped data and reappropriate that so that we can plot it onto cumulative frequency graphs and histograms. What we basically need to do is we need to take those groups and we need to convert them into intervals. Let's take the example at the top there with heights. Let's assume that these are the heights of children in centimetres. We have a group for people of height 95 to 105 centimetres. We have a group for people 106 to 115 centimetres and a group for people 116 to 125 centimetres. What we don't appear to have is a group that would be appropriate for someone who was 105.2 centimetres, because they would neither fit in the top group nor the middle group. As another example, it doesn't appear that we have a group that would be suitable for people who are 115.8 centimetres, because they wouldn't fit in the middle group, nor would they fit into the bottom group. Now what we need to do is we need to realise that numbers round. Therefore, anyone who was less than 105.5 centimetres would fit into the top group, and anyone who was more than 105.5 but less than 115.5 would sit in the second group. I'll just write out the first interval and then we'll explain this a little bit more. So our first group will be for people who are between 94.5 centimetres but less than 105.5 centimetres. Any decimal greater than 94.5 will round to 95. So heights of 94.5 centimetres all the way up to 94.999 centimetres will round up to 95 centimetres, making that appropriate for that first group. And then we've got heights less than 105.5. The reason it's less than and not less than or equal to is because if someone has a height of 105.5 centimetres, then they're actually going to fit into the next group up to 115.5. Now what this tells us is that if someone has a height of exactly 105.5, well 105.5 rounds to 106, therefore they would fit in that middle group. If someone had a height of 115.5, then they wouldn't actually fit into this group because here we have heights that are less than 115.5. If the height was 115.4999, then they would fit into this group. But heights of 115.5 are going to fit into our last group because 115.5 rounds to 116. So if we have group data written in this form, we need to take into account that numbers round up or round down, and the threshold for whether we round up or down is 0 0.5. Next we'll look at the age data. Now age data is slightly different, and the reason age data is different is because if you're 9 years old as an example, you'll be 9 years old right up until the very day when you turn 10. So what we end up with is we'll get groups of this form. So if we've done a survey of the ages of children, and a child is between the ages of 0 and 9, then they'll fit into that top group. If we speak to a child and they say they're age 9, they're going to be age 9 right up until the day they turn age 10. So that first group is for anyone from age 0 all the way up to 9.999 years old. But the day that someone turns 10, they'll drop into our second group. So our second group is for people age 10 or older, but less than 20. If someone's age is taken on their 10th birthday, then they'll fit into that second group because that's for people aged 10 or older but less than 20. On the day before their 20th birthday, they'll still sit in that group. They might be 19.99 years old, but they'll still sit in that group until the day they turn 20. When they turn 20, they'll drop into our bottom group because our bottom group is for people aged 20 to 30 or 20 all the way up to the day they turn 31. The reason we need to do this with continuous data is because when we plot a histogram, we mustn't have any breaks. A histogram needs to range from our upper boundary to our lower boundary with no gaps. Every piece of data within the range must fit into an appropriate group, or more accurately, into an appropriate interval class.